afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at 4.03 or yes, so. Yes, hope you enjoyed the soccer here on CBS. Yeah, we ran a little late, so let's get right to it. Topping our news today, severe weather in our area may be responsible for starting a house fire in Lodi. Chandler Halderson has two of his convictions taken off his record. We'll hear from his lawyer about how he feels. And the Supreme Court is making sure that a commonly used abortion pill will remain widely available, at least for now. Let's take a look outside. It's before the uh, storms came through. This weather is like weather whiplash every <laughs> other day. You don't know what you're going to get. Yeah, really. And more storms to come. Greg's in the backyard. To time things out for us, Greg. Yeah, we had uh, thunderstorms today because that warm front that stayed just to our south. So if you're north of the warm front, typically you can get severe thunderstorms and that includes hail primarily the main threat. But we do have a alert day for later tonight through tomorrow afternoon for another two rounds potentially of thunderstorms with a severe threat. Really, it's the high wind, uh, heavy rain, hail tonight and maybe high winds tomorrow. The tornado threat's fairly low, but there's still a possibility for that. And once again, we'll time out exactly when that. So the severe threat really is predominantly to the south, but overnight we're going to see that lift northeastward. So that's why the map right now just shows marginal conditions. If we zoom out, see the radar, you see there's two watch boxes well off to the west. That activity will eventually reach us, not in the warm or severe. We have had the thunderstorms overall that we had the severe threat up to the north. That kind of line is pushed off to the east. There's all your hail threats, uh, golf ball size hail up to the north, including some heavy rain too, up to two to four inches potentially. And there was a flash flood warning for that area earlier that since expired. There's your temperatures. You can see where the warm front is to the south. So we've remained on the north side of it overnight uh, this evening. We don't expect many showers and thunderstorms this evening. Should be fairly low. Our temperatures have pulled steady in the 40s. And then by the time we get closer to mid Midnight will start rising, and that's when the threat starts increasing is after midnight for another round that comes through. So what's ahead? We'll plan out when to see those storms, when's the threat, an update on the rivers, and what the weekend looks. And unfortunately, it does look chilly, all that ahead in the broadcast. All right, Greg, we'll check back. Thank you. Well, severe weather today may have claimed a home in Lodi. Our News 3 team was there as the home burned earlier today. Andrew Banstra talked to the homeowners and explains why some think the storms are to blame. The homeowners and neighbors told me they believe the fire started when lightning struck right on this west side of the home and scorched half the building. When I arrived in Lodi, I saw a couple dozen firefighters and a devastated family watching their home burn. The Lodi Fire Department has not confirmed the cause of the fire or deemed the house a total loss. But as the family was watching their home engulfed in flames... Well, this is our home. <laughs> Um, I just got a phone call from uh, my co-worker down the street saying my house was on fire. So we come and run in, obviously, and uh, we think it got hit by lightning. I don't even know what's going to happen now. It's like I'm five months pregnant. I have a two-year-old. She's got a 10-month-old. I'm like, this is devastating. The call for the fire originally came from the Wisconsin Riverbank down the street from the home. Carrie's son told me he was woken up when the house was struck by lightning. Thankfully, nobody was hurt in this fire, but we did find that the homeowners did lose two pets. In Lodi, Andrew Banstra, News 3 Now. A Dane County judge vacated two convictions against Chandler Halderson during a hearing today. A jury found Halderson guilty of eight counts in January of last year for killing his parents, Bart and Krista Halderson, in July of 2021. Among those charges were two counts each of mutilating and hiding a corpse. At today's hearing, Judge John Highland vacated those two convictions, saying the jury should not have had the option of convicting Halderson on both charges. Obviously, the main counts are still in place, and Chandler wants to appeal that, and we'll be working on that appeal in the future. But we're very happy today that counts four and counts eight were dismissed. Judge Highland says he wanted to address the issue in Halderson's case now since it was not raised during the initial trial. Halderson was sentenced in March of last year to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Well, after months of tension, budget hangups, and disagreements on building scale, the Dane County Jail Consolidation Project is seeing some progress. Kiel Moladine joins us now to share the details behind the compromise, bringing the two groups with once competing proposals together. Teal? 
Up until this morning, the Black Caucus and Dane County Sheriff's Office were publicly at odds about what to do with the county's jail conditions that some called a lawsuit waiting to happen. But today they're on the same page. They're agreeing to move forward with a scaled back version of the original jail consolidation proposal. The build would be for a six story facility that tax on an additional 13.5 million to get it done. Our collaboration and compromise are the reason that we're here right now. That is what it, it, that is what it takes for us to move forward with this project, but it's, this is also what it takes for us to be successful as a governing body. To solidify the agreement, Sheriff Calvin Barrett has committed to remove federal prisoners from the county's jail by November 1st. He also pledged to work on reducing racial disparities in jail and support programming for criminal justice reform. Now, in total, the jail consolidation project, if approved by the full county board tomorrow, would cost about $179 million funded through a 20-year bond. Tahlil, thank you. A woman and a child were uninjured after stray bullets flew into their apartment on Madison South Side yesterday. Multiple people called Madison police to report hearing gunshots in the area of Coho Street just before 5.30 p.m. yesterday. Officers found several shell casings left in the street and discovered two stray bullets lodged in a nearby apartment. Americans are struggling to make sense of the latest incidents of gun violence, shootings after the smallest provocation of a simple mistake. The man accused of shooting a teenager in the head made his first court appearance in Kansas City. 84-year-old Andrew Lester is charged with first-degree assault. Police say he shot Ralph Yarrow when the 16-year-old went to the wrong house to pick up his brothers. There's no justification for the use of force other than he observed a black boy on his porch. In upstate New York, 20-year-old Kaylin Gillis died after she and her friends drove up the wrong driveway. The local sheriff says the landowner opened fire on their car and was arrested for second-degree murder. And in Texas, a 25-year-old man is accused of shooting and injuring two cheerleaders in a parking lot when one of them opened his car door thinking it was hers. Fear may have been a factor in the Kansas City shooting. Police say the suspect told them that he was scared to death, thinking the teenager was breaking in. The House Oversight Committee held a hearing today on the Biden administration's withdrawal from Afghanistan. Democratic members said the negotiations for the withdrawal conducted under the Trump administration led to confusion, an unrealistic timeline and dangerous deals with the Taliban that didn't include the Afghan government. Republican members said the Biden administration's hurried approach to the withdrawal are linked to the deaths of service members and Afghan civilians, as well as U.S. Embassy staff who were not prepared in time for the withdrawal. While the Embassy's emergency evacuation planning activities in the lead-up to the evacuation generally complied with applicable standards, the Department simply was not fully prepared for the full range of challenges it encountered. Members of both parties shared ongoing concerns about humanitarian assistance as well as the massive decline in the rights of women and girls in Afghanistan. Oklahoma City held a remembrance ceremony uh, today, that is, on the 20th anniversary of the Oklahoma City bombing. 168 seconds of silence was observed, one second for each person who was killed. Family members and survivors also read off each victim's name. Governor Kevin Stitz has ordered all American and Oklahoma flags on state property to be lowered to half staff. On April 19, 1995, a rental truck filled with explosives detonated outside the Murrah Federal Building. In addition to the 168 people who died, hundreds of others were injured. Two former U.S. Army soldiers, Timothy McVeigh and Terry Nichols, were convicted of the attack. Well, all eyes are on the Supreme Court today. The justices have temporarily extended a stay to maintain the FDA's approval of the abortion pill milfepristone until Friday. The temporary stay was set to expire at midnight tonight. Nicole Skanga has more details from the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has extended its deadline to decide whether to keep a commonly used abortion pill on the market. 
Justice Samuel Alito extended a stay until Friday, giving them more time to consider whether to uphold the decision of a federal judge in Texas to revoke FDA approval for Mifepristone. We are prepared for uh, any outcome the Supreme Court may, may issue, and we are prepared for a long legal fight if necessary. Judge Matthew Kazmarek, a Trump appointee, ruled that the FDA improperly approved the drug 23 years ago. An appeals court later ruled that Mifepristone's approval should stand, but that amended rules allowing the prescription to be given without seeing a doctor should be halted. Six of the nine judges on the Supreme Court are conservative. That makeup led to the overturning of Roe versus Wade, but that doesn't mean that the majority here will side with the Texas judge who initially issued this ruling. The justices have typically not been very lenient on cases where there doesn't seem to be legal standing for the challenges. To get a case into federal court, you have to show you've suffered some harm and have a stake in the case. That may be tough to prove when the drug has already been on the market for more than two decades. Critics say allowing the Mifepristone ruling to stand may open the courts up to all kinds of new challenges. Nicole Skanga, CBS News, The Supreme Court. Judge Kazmarek, who issued the Mifepristone ruling, is under scrutiny after the Washington Post found he had removed his name from a controversial legal journal article during his confirmation process. He won that confirmation vote, putting him in a lifetime judicial position. Well, the Baseball League for Special Needs Children is growing in popularity in Dane County. Growing so much, in fact, they need a lot of volunteers. We'll find out how you can help out when Live at Four continues. Patio doors, patio doors. Scott the window guy can do patio doors. Scott the window guy can do patio doors. We do patio doors at scottthewindowguy.com. Spring into savings and refresh your home at Ashley. With up to 30% off designer picks, where we have a selection of items created by our elite team just for you. Plus, special financing options for every budget, only at Ashley. An important message for Americans age 50 to 85. How's John? Oh, much better. That was quite a scare. Got us thinking about a lot of things, like life insurance. If something happened to either one of us, we'd really be in trouble. But where can we get coverage with John's health problems on a fixed income? Go with the sure thing, Colonial Pen. Friends have been telling friends about Colonial Pen guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance for more than 50 years, and with good reason. If you're between the ages of 50 and 85, it's a sure thing. Your acceptance is guaranteed because full benefits are not paid in the first two years. You don't need a physical exam, and we won't ask about your health. You cannot be turned down. And the price? Options start at $9.95 a month, less than 35 cents a day. I don't know. What if the price goes up as we get older? With Colonial Pen, your rate is another sure thing. It will never increase. That's because it comes with something you won't find in other policies, a lifetime rate lock. The rate you start with is the one you keep, guaranteed. And you should know this coverage can last a lifetime. Some insurance policies end once you reach a certain age, not this one. As long as you pay your premiums, it's yours for life. Call the number on your screen now, and we'll send you free information by mail. You have nothing to lose, because at Colonial Pen, your satisfaction is another sure thing. Every policy we issue comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you've been thinking about getting life insurance to help your family with funeral expenses and other bills you may leave behind, call for free information today. There's no obligation, and you'll receive a free beneficiary planner just for calling. Same time next week? Sure thing. Call 1-800-248-6940 for your free information and your free beneficiary planner. That's 1-800-248-6940. There's no obligation. 1-800-248-6940. Call now. As a veteran of our country's armed services, you have already made the ultimate sacrifice. Through no fault of your own, you may be experiencing hardships, such as the inability to pay rent, utilities, or receive other life-sustaining services. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin. No Wisconsin veteran should ever have to face homelessness or lose heat, power, or water again. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4. 
A math teacher from Tulsa, Oklahoma, is the 2023 National Teacher of the Year. CBS Mornings revealed the winner earlier today. Rebecca Peterson is the Teacher of the Year. She teaches math at Union High School in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Peterson is being recognized for her passion for making math exciting, relevant, and accessible making math exciting. Oh, that's, that's a, she that's deserves a job. it. <laughs> and for emphasizing positive stories in her classroom. It's something she started as a way to deal with the difficulties of the job. I started writing one good thing every day. And when I took the time to notice the good, the good became better. Among those congratulating her today, First Lady Jill Biden. Peterson says as an immigrant to the United States, teachers played a massive role in her life. And now some of her students are planning to become teachers. Next week, Peterson will make a trip to the White House to receive her award. Well, that will be exciting. Yeah. Well, millions of Americans put their health on the line every time they step outside. That's according to a new report out today from the American Lung Association. It shows that about one in four Americans live with with air pollution that can hurt their health and shorten their lives. A disproportionate amount are people of color or residents of western cities. Ten of the 25 most polluted cities are in California. U.S. lawmakers have accused embattled Swiss bank Credit Suisse of not fully investigating Nazi clients and Nazi-linked accounts. The Senate Budget Committee says some of the accounts were open until just a few years ago. The bank reportedly fired an independent om ombudsman who oversaw a vast internal review and restricted the scope of its internal investigations. The Senate committee said the action left significant gaps in the search for Nazi-linked records. A quiet day on Wall Street as earning reports continue to come in. The Dow Industrials lost 79 points. The Nasdaq managed a three-point gain, but the S&P 500 was off fractionally. Well, summer is coming, we're told. <laughs> it's almost time to play ball. Doesn't feel like it today, no, does it, it? But the third season of the Miracle League of Dane County kicks off in June. It's a league for kids with special needs that gives every child, regardless of ability, an opportunity to play the game. Yeah, it's been so popular. The Miracle League is expanding this season to three games a night instead of two. Bill Schultz is the executive director of the Miracle League of Dane County. Bill, welcome back to Live at Four. Thanks Hi, for Bill. Me good back. to see you. You'll be yeah. playing ball pretty soon. And this league grows by leaps and bounds every year. You have how many families signed up so far? We have 250 kids this year. Last year we had 200. First year was 90. Wow. And uh, <laughs> it's it's just been a, an amazing story. And it's been mostly word of mouth uh, that this, this growth has happened, but um, just great stories. Uh, the word miracle does happen at times. Yeah, mm. no, it, it does. You play at a special park, Bakken Park in yeah. Cottage Grove. Yeah. And, you know, if you're ever having a day where you're just stressed or you feel down, just go out there. Well, you need the story. On some evening. We have some video of some of the kids you'll meet, and it's kids with any disability imaginable, wheelchairs. And they all play. And they all Regardless. play. They all score a run. They all bat. They, they, they have an equal opportunity. It's non-competitive. Don't, don't score. The crowd cheers for them. Oh, they put great. their name up yeah. on a billboard. It will make you, I mean, there will not be a dry eye in the field. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. And each kid has a buddy. He does. An adult volunteer, yeah. and you need as many as you can get this season, right? Yeah, because of the growth. And a lot of our, kid, a lot of our buddies are high school and middle school kids, which is wonderful. But they graduate, and so we have to have more, plus the growth of, uh, in the number of kids. So anybody that's age 13 or, or uh, older can be a volunteer, and they go through training, and they buddy up with a, a player for the entire season. So what kind of commitment is this for a buddy? Well, each, each child plays one game each week the same night each week. And so it's a one hour, one and a half hours a night per week. Not bad. No, not at all. Did you ever dream this would become this? Not in a million years, <laughs> but every time I start talking about it, I get a little choked up because uh, this is, uh, uh, it's, just, it's just beyond words. You know, I, I expected, we expected 50 to 100 kids, and here we are at, at 250, and next year we're, we're shooting for 300 and perhaps adding an adult league. We've had inquiries about that where people 20 and older could play, so we're, 
We'll see. Billy, yeah. you took your own life experience, though, and mm -hmm. paid it forward for yeah. kids just yeah. like you. Tell yeah. us a little bit about the inspiration for the Miracle League. Well, I wasn't allowed to play Little League because of my disability, but a few, a few years ago, my wife and I were watching the news, and they talked about this organization called the Miracle League. And the next thing I saw on the screen were kids with wheelchairs, walkers, kids with autism, Down syndrome, playing a game of baseball on a Little League-sized field. And I said, that's, that could have been me. <laughs> and so I just started uh, weeping a little bit. And then my wife says, I know what you're going to do. You're going to check this out. It's a national organization out of Atlanta. And they help communities build uh, these fields and these organizations, although it's independently run, independently financed. But I just... Uh, I grabbed onto this, and uh, I think God had a plan for, for me on this Mir one. Miracles do happen. It's yeah. a life-changing experience. Opening yeah. night is June 6th. 6th. So if you'd like to register your child, become a sponsor, you can volunteer to be a buddy. Go to Dane-County Miracle-League. No, no, it's no, Dane no. County Miracle League. Okay, there's not a dash. Org. No dash no. in between. I was That's just right. for DaneCountyMiracleLeague.org. The deadline to register to, is it for, to register your child is Sunday, April 30th? Yeah. And then we're, you're extending the... Volunteer until about the 10th of May. Oh. Be playing ball soon. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's going to be it's going to be great. We'll see you Bill, out thanks there. for being okay. with us today. Good to thanks, see you. Thanks for having me on again. Well, there's more to come at four. Heavy snow in northern Minnesota is causing all sorts of headaches. Especially for dairy farmers there. We'll have that story coming up after Greg's first warn forecast. At Pick and Save, we want our fresh produce to meet your expectations which is why we do up to a 27-point inspection to check for things like color and scarring. Because when it comes to fresh, higher standards mean fresher produce. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. Hey, I just got a text from my sister. You remember Rick, her neighbor? Sure. He's the 76-year-old guy who still runs marathons, right? Sadly, not anymore. What? You mean... Mm-hmm. Just like that. Wow. So sudden. Um, we're not about to have the we need life insurance conversation again, are we? No, we're having the we're getting coverage so we don't have to worry about it conversation. So you're calling about the $9.95 a month plan from Colonial Pen? I am. We put it off long enough. We are getting that $9.95 plan today. Is it time for you to call about the $9.95 plan? I'm Jonathan from Colonial Pen Life Insurance Company. Sometimes we just need a reminder not to take today for granted. It could be the death of someone you know or a health scare. That's why today could be a great day to call for free information about Colonial Pen's 995 plan. If you're age 50 to 85, you can get guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance starting at just $9.95 a month. There are no health questions, so you can't be turned down for any health reason. This is permanent coverage. Just pay your premiums for lifelong security. The 995 plan is Colonial Pen's number one most popular whole life plan. Options start at just $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate can never go up. It's locked in for life. Don't put it off. Take the first easy step. Call today for free information. And you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. So call now. Call 1-800-290-3399 for your free information and free gift. That's 1-800-290-3399. There's no risk or obligation. That number again is 1-800-290-3399. 1-800-290-3399. Call now. Hello, Colonial Pen? Community is helping each other. Making sure your neighbor is taken care of. At Lake Ridge Bank, community is who we are. We take pride in being a community bank, strengthening relationships and investing in the places we come from. It's why we are who we are. Lake Ridge Bank. Go far, go together. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. At Pick and Save, however you shop, in-store, pickup, or delivery, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards. That's a win-win-win. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. 
Take a look at this. Alain Robert, nicknamed French Spider-Man, a well-known French climber, scaled a 525-foot high sk skyscraper in the Parisian business area of La Defense. Am I saying that right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. He said he did the, the climbing to support the French people protesting the pension reform. The 60-year-old free climber has publicly denounced the use of Article 49.3 to push the bill through without a vote in Parliament. He's 60. And he uses no, no ropes? ropes? Nothing. Pretty amazing. Uh, well, we have a new member of the News 3 crew here to introduce you to. Hi, she, Gary. You she want to do the Gary I, no, I'm, I, I've been here for, uh, for oh, a couple you're, of years. You're yeah. new? Yeah. What? No, uh, we, have a, we have a new meteorologist I'd like to introduce, Jacob Montesano. He is from uh, the Chicago area and uh, also a graduate of Northern Illinois University. We, where I, <laughs> We're I a Gary one. Yeah, we, uh, we graduated just a couple of years apart. Uh, let's, let me guess. Is he a Cubs fan, too? Well, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Welcome, Jacob. Jacob. Thank you very great much. Great to have you here. You last worked in Rapid City for about two years, pretty much. And I keep telling everyone, the weather in Rapid City is pretty much everything we get here, but more extreme. Like, we get snow into May and as early as September. So, you know, the, the weather here in Madison isn't, uh, you know, <laughs> see, too bad to me, at least. I know a lot of people. Since, since he started <laughs> here, I mean, you know, you can see our weather has become more winter, extreme, yeah. too. So you're bringing it right along. Yeah, and just uh, just a clarification. I am a fan of all Chicago sports, so I know that a lot, you know, oh, the Bears a lot too? of Brewers, <laughs> Packers fans here. You so, might regret yeah. saying that publicly. But <laughs> we'll, we'll I, I, want, I wanted to get it out there before uh, people start asking. So you're originally from the <laughs> suburbs of Chicago? Or? Yeah, suburbs of Chicago. Grew up uh, near the South Side, and then yeah, I worked in Rapid City for two years, and now I'm here. I'm really excited. I you know I've only been here for about three weeks, and I've already fallen in love with the city. It's, yeah, it's a it's great beautiful. place. It's beautiful. What, what got you into meteorology? Well, I, I know um, Gary's story. <laughs> when I was around eight years old, we, it wasn't like a tornado, uh, but there was a pretty bad microburst that hit our town, and a tree actually fell on our roof, and there was damage all across the town. And it just like it made me scared at first, but then the scaredness started to turn into you know interest. fascination. Yeah. yeah. So, I, and then I watched you know the weather all the time growing up, and then I went to college, and then I ended up in broadcast. So, what shows will you be doing here? So I will typically be doing the weekend's evening shifts, okay. but I will occasionally be doing the noon and four o'clock shows. Specifically, I'll be doing the noons Thursday and Friday every week. Great. That's that's the typical schedule. I know Gary well, actually. No typical you'll be on every show yeah, at some yeah, point. Exactly. Well, Gary yeah, is off. We'll, we'll Gary will be off at, for parts of May, so I'll be filling in as well. But. And Consistently the weekend evenings, yeah. And and Julian will switch to the uh, Monday through Friday shift. He'll be doing the four and the Fox nine o'clock. Oh, that's uh, great. So, uh, yeah. So well, welcome. Just, uh, we're adding to the team. Looking so. forward to working with yeah. you. Thank you. Welcome you aboard, Jacob. Great Thank you so much. Of course, he gets here right when severe weather uh, hits. Yeah. We've had some severe weather today. Greg <laughs> Barnhart will have your first warm forecast in just a couple of minutes. Spa, 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 the swim spa, hot tub, and sauna show is coming this weekend only at the arena at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison. Rose and Rose of Spas, hot tubs, and swim spas. The largest display in the state. Save up to 60% on all in-stock models. This weekend only at the arena at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison. Known as a passionate artist. Known for loving the outdoors. Known for getting everyone together. No one wants to be known for cancer, but a treatment can be. Keytruda is known to treat cancer. FDA approved for 16 types of cancer, including certain early stage cancers. One of those cancers is triple negative breast cancer. Keytruda may be used with chemotherapy medicines as treatment before surgery, and then continued alone after surgery when you have early stage breast cancer and are at high risk of it coming back. Keytruda can cause your immune system to attack healthy parts of your body during or after treatment. This may be severe and lead to death. See your doctor right away if you have cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, diarrhea, severe stomach pain, severe nausea or vomiting, headache, light sensitivity, eye problems, irregular heartbeat, extreme tiredness, constipation, dizziness or fainting, changes in appetite, thirst or urine, confusion, memory problems, muscle pain or weakness, fever, rash, itching or flushing. There may be other side effects. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including immune system problems. If you've had or plan to have an organ or stem cell transplant, receive chest radiation, or have a nervous system problem. Keytruda is an immunotherapy and is also being studied in hundreds of clinical trials exploring ways to treat even more types of cancer. It's true. Keytruda from Merck. See all the types of cancer Keytruda is known for at Keytruda.com and ask your doctor if Keytruda could be right for you. The story of Scott the Window Guy starts with the crack of a bat, a broken window. 
<laughs> Little did I know, Mom actually wanted her windows replaced. I'm Scott the Window Guy from AHT Wisconsin Windows. For the past 50 years, we've been replacing windows in Wisconsin with a 50-year warranty and a 10-year glass breakage guarantee to protect you from kids like me. Buy seven windows by the end of the month and get the eighth free at scottthewindowguy.com. Spa, spa, spa! The Swim Spa Hot Tub and Sauna Show is coming this weekend only at the Arena at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison. Rows and rows of spas, hot tubs, and swim spas. The largest display in the state. Save up to 60% on all in-stock models. This weekend only at the Arena at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Yeah, some of you have already experienced some severe weather, but we have a couple more rounds com coming, and especially tonight and then through tomorrow afternoon. So that's why we still have the alert day. Really, the high winds, the hail is probably going to be the biggest threat of everything, and heavy rain. We might see some high winds. Tornado threat's fairly low. We can't rule that out, but I think really it's the hail and heavy rain that we're going to watch through tomorrow afternoon, and then we should be clearing up. However, that could cause more issues with the rivers right now. They're already getting minor to moderate flooding around the Mississippi. We have minor flooding, moderate flooding around the Wisconsin. All the other ones are getting up towards action stage, but with the amount of rainfall that's yet to come, this is what we currently think will happen, but these could change once we know how much rain falls for the next 24, 36 hours. But pretty much Mississippi from La Crosse all the way down is moderate down to get to Dubuque and Prairie du Chien should be major by the time we get to Monday and Tuesday. The Wisconsin River, this could change too, but right now still minor up to Castle Rock and then Portage still has their kind of back and forth between major and moderate right now. So once again, this is just what we have now. Once we get uh, the idea of how much precipitation falls, these will probably be updated. Really a few showers this afternoon, but really it's going to be the evening commute should be fairly quiet. We have another round towards midnight there afterwards. I'll kind of show that. Temperatures should be holding steady in the 40s to near 50. Actually might rise a little bit overnight. Tomorrow there's one round in the morning that could be severe. It'll probably be the morning commute issue. We could have another round. That would be Thursday afternoon, depending on how things pan out. And should be fairly wrapping up by the evening commute tomorrow. Maybe a shower, but I think most of the area should be fairly quiet but windy by the time we get there. If we look at a future track and show this overnight, here's the first round will come really after midnight. A few showers here and there, isolated, but not expecting too much. And then here comes that first line approaching really after about 2.30. It'll lift northeast. Could be some isolated strong cells with this one as it pushes through Madison about 4 to 5. Then we'll see a little bit of a break, but then here comes really the main, really strongest and potentially heavy rain threat with this batch of thunderstorms that's up through Iowa. It'll lift to the area about 9 to 10 through the Madison area, so it could be a period of heavy sh uh, showers, thunderstorms, and then lifts north, and then we might have a break near noon, and then depending how things pan out, we'll have the cold front coming through, and if we're unstable enough, we'll get some of this. You can see the temperatures do kind of warm up to the upper 60s and 70s if we get the sun. If we don't, we will probably stay colder than this and won't get the severe threat. If we do, when that cold front comes through at 530, we might see another round of showers and severe thunderstorms. We'll just have to see how things panned out. But that's what we're looking for. And there afterwards, everything should be kind of cleared out. And actually, it's going to get quite cold as we go into Saturday. Friday, kind of the transition between the 258, but then we drop all the way back into the mid 40s for the weekend. And yes, can't rule out a face of flake that we're going to have come Friday into Saturday. And then next week just looks unsettled, but really no clear signature of each day is going to be a better shot of showers or the next day. So it'll be kind of messy next week. But yeah, the next 24 hours is going to be kind of busy. Yeah, make sure your radio, rather weather yeah, radio's on. Especially pay attention to the rivers coming up with all the water now. We had flash flooding already because of reports up two to three inches. Yeah, so more. that could be happening tonight again. And then long term, the rivers are definitely going to be a problem. Here. More on the way. All right. Yep. Greg, thank you. Great. Well, a dairy farm in rural Minnesota says it had to dump 800 gallons of milk. And it's due to record snowfall. Larissa Mills explains the connection. <laughs> Trinity Dairy Farm in Sturgeon Lake usually has its milk supply picked up every other day, but its location can make accessing the farm difficult. Our farm is bordered by two rivers. We got the Kettle River and the Moosehorn. They meet back behind our farm. So what happens when you get a lot of water, the Kettle River overpowers the Moosehorn and it just backs up. Last week, the road to the farm was flooded, making it impassable for the milk truck to pick up supply. Farmers Alan and Jennifer Klayeski say the milk could be stored for four days. Um, and so we waited four days and that still couldn't get through. So we wound up dumping it. 
Thankfully, the Klayeski say their co-op reimburses 75% of lost milk in the case of a natural disaster, so they only lost out on about $400. If it would be continued, you know, where it would, you would be getting into, you know, three or four times where you'd have to dump it, um, that, that could be, you know, pretty hard to swallow. While peppermint here is too young to be milked, the cows who are old enough are milked twice a day, once at about 5 a.m. and again at 5 p.m. They're milked every day regardless of if pickup is possible. In addition to flooding, Trinity Dairy had other weather concerns like snow pileups on roofs and the potential loss of power. The Klaskis say losing power and being unable to milk is one of their biggest worries. Some of the local farms, if you're milking, you know, upwards of 75 or more cows, that's not something you can really do by hand anymore or anything like that. Yeah. So power is pretty important. While the Klayeskis say they're grateful more product and money wasn't lost due to the flooding, it's a good reminder to everyone that farming never stops. The farmers, no matter what the weather is doing, that they are still out there producing the food in, you know, even if it is a two-foot amount of snow or four-foot blizzard, we're still out here in the barn milking cows. Yes, Farming never stops. Every day. All right, coming up next year on Live Before, we introduce you to an extremely helpful pizza delivery man. And then next hour at 5, legislators at the Capitol are looking at a couple of different proposals to lower how much you pay in state income taxes. Our Will Keneally will explain at 5. Ashley is hosting a massive inventory blowout sale. Get guaranteed lowest prices on furniture and mattresses and save even more on clearance items. Plus, low monthly payments with no money down and free delivery in three days or less. Only at Ashley. Find your inspiration with Wisconsin Vision. prescription sunglasses. Wisconsin Vision. See more life. There are so many things we take for granted. And along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted too. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living? And through no fault of their own, they're being left behind. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy and water providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Fry Construction invites you to celebrate spring with our big spring thaw sale. We're talking about savings of 23%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer three years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Get on board with our spring thaw sale. Save 23% off gutters or insulation with any full roofing project. Schedule your consultation today at fryconstruction.com. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado, a new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or current Chevy owners get 37.50 total cash allowance on all 2023 Silverado pickups with a turbo high open engine. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Ashley is hosting a massive furniture and mattress blowout. Get guaranteed best offers on top mattress brands like Sealy, Beautyrest, Tempur-Pedic, and Purple. Plus, free delivery in three days or less. Only at Wisconsin's number one furniture and mattress store, Ashley. New at 5, lightning could be the cause of a local fire. News 3 Now has exclusive footage of the damage and a first-hand account of the aftermath. Thunderstorms today have dropped large hail and heavy rain over parts of southern Wisconsin. A first warm weather alert day is in the forecast through tomorrow for more strong to severe thunderstorms. At 5, I'll let you know when to expect the storms. And ahead at 6, tax day is over for this year, but the battle for your future taxes is just beginning. We explore two competing tax plans for Wisconsin that could dramatically impact your wallet. Oh, it's pretty. Giving the weather satellite a spin, we end up in Pittsburgh. That's a great shot. Yeah, all the rivers meet there. Yeah, beautiful day there, 67 degrees. Perfect. Perfect.
A pizza delivery driver in Pennsylvania delivered more than a pie recently. He's getting the hero treatment for what he did to a suspect who was fleeing from police. CNN's Jeannie Moe shows us how he put his best foot forward. Imagine answering your door. That's a high speed chase. And getting a police chase with your pizza. Oh my God, Jaeger. Oh my God, Jaeger. But it's what the pizza delivery guy did that inspired awe, and he didn't even drop the pizza. Brookhaven, Pennsylvania police were chasing a suspected stolen vehicle when it went out of control. The pizza delivery guy took control by tripping one of two fleeing suspects, a 17-year-old juvenile. Tyler Morrell from Coco's Pizza decided to put his foot down. I, like, I can't do anything with my hands because I'm holding the pizza, so I just stuck my leg out. Tyler got a bruise out of it, but he's been peppered, make that pepperoni with praise. I deliver pizza and bad guys. Yeah, I'm pretty sick of seeing like crime like that go on. I was just ready to step up, and if they needed a hand, I was, I was there, or a foot, whatever. <laughs> the suspect got the Karate Kid treatment. Sweep the leg. No mercy. This wasn't the first time bystanders have given cops a leg up. God, God. A veteran with a bad back and a cane casually tripped an armed suspect being chased by police in Ohio. My leg made the choice for me. Brookhaven police thank the pizza guy. If you're interested in a job, we're always looking for good people. Those who ordered the pizza gave a rave review. 10 out of 10 delivery. Tyler didn't just deliver takeout pizza, he delivered a takeout. Genimos, CNN. New York. And he never dropped the pizza. A 10 out of 10 for delivery. Good, <laughs> Good for, for him. him. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a yearly springtime tradition on the UW Madison campus. It is the spring concert performed by the UW Varsity Band. Its director, Dr. Corey Pompey, joins us with the highlights of this weekend's concert when Live at Four continues. There's a difference in a small town where family values still hold true. Welcome to the Portage Furniture Store. Well, we ventured back to Portage and look at who we found, the two Ayers brothers, Austin and Aaron. It's good to see you guys. Welcome back. So how is business? How is life? Business has been great. You know, it's been very busy, uh, busy for both of us. A couple new kiddos in the, you know, in the past year. So no, but business has been has been doing great. I know you really want to give a, sh a shout out to all of the people around this area that shop local, that choose to come right here to Cook Street to see the two of you. Obviously, first and foremost, we're so appreciative of our customers, and there's just been such a strong sentiment to shop local, shop small, support family business. And, you know, I guess with the inventory, we've been very blessed. We've got a packed showroom, trucks coming in every week. We've really, uh, we're, we're running out of places to put everything. We're, we're in good shape. <laughs> I feel like there's such a difference in the customer's mood when they walk in. They don't have that anxious feeling of, oh gosh, here comes the salesperson coming over to talk to me. Yeah. Why is that so different here? We put a major emphasis on no pressure shopping. Our salespeople, they're fantastic. They're gonna be there when you need them, but they're gonna let you, you know, try everything out and they're gonna leave you alone, let you relax. So all these years later, the big question is there still the Portage Furniture free delivery? Yep, absolutely. Still the free delivery, gonna bring it right into your home, set it up, make it perfect for you. They'll even cook you dinner or sing a song for you if you need. They're, they're just fantastic. <laughs> That's that small, local, family feel, business mentality. Absolutely. You just, you can't replicate it, right? We are the Ayers family. From the Portage Furniture Store, I'm Emmy Fink, and you're buzzed into Madison. Could you keep it down? 
Oh, hey, sorry. I can't stop these kids from rocking, but I can help you replace all this. Rock on! With free installation on Felco windows, siding, doors, and roofing, plus no money down, no payments, and no interest for one year. There's never been a better time to upgrade your home. This offer won't last long. Hurry. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for Feltco. And Tresto is the number one heart failure brand prescribed by cardiologists. It was proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or alaskirin, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. Ah, no incidents to speak of in the Beltline. We just had an incident on the interstate just east of Madison, but that hasn't been slowing traffic up. No precipitation to be really expected. Severe weather comes later tonight, you guys. Thank you. We have an update about that giant T-Rex we told you about yesterday that was going up for auction in Switzerland. The giant skeleton fetched just over $6 million at auction in Zurich. The skeleton was constructed with 239 bones from three different T-Rexes that were found in Montana and Wyoming between 2008 and this year. The buyer's identity was not disclosed at the time of the purchase. If the spring weather blahs are getting you down, a badger boost may be just the cure. That's what will, that'll fix it. The UW Varsity Band will be rocking the Cole Center for their annual spring concerts Friday and Saturday night. Director Dr. Corey Pompey will lead the band as they perform the traditional favorites, plus some new highlights this year. Corey, welcome back to Live at Four. Hi, Corey. Great to see you. It's great to see you. Glad to be here. Thank you for having so me. So this is a big event for you guys, This the spring concert what, what do you have planned well well there are going to be a lot of old favorites that will be played fifth quarter of course on wisconsin and different things like that but we'll also have some new music for the concert that we haven't heard before uh such as 80s and abba and and other things like that this is actually your second spring concert you came to madison in 2019 mm -hmm. Um, but then the spring concerts were canceled in 2020 and 21. So mm -hmm. this is only your, your second concert. And of course you took over for the, the legendary mm -hmm. Mike LaCrone. Do you feel um, like you're getting in your groove now? I remember when, when we talked when you first moved here, you said you really wanted to make the band your own. Do you feel like you've been able to do that now? Um, I'm getting more comfortable <laughs> by the day. I don't know if I'll ever be completely comfortable. That, that might take another 50 years. <laughs> but, Mike, but, but things are going okay. Mike left some big shoes to fill that. Very sure. big shoes. So how is this concert, how do you prepare for this differently than, say, the, the marching band on the football field? That's an excellent question. Well, when we're preparing for uh, a halftime show, we're spending a lot of time working on the musical package as well as the visual package. And both of those things are very difficult to do on their own. So there's always this tension, or shall I say, balancing act that we are trying to execute as we are preparing. Um, how much should we rehearse on the visual? How much should we rehearse the music? There's a finite amount of time. And then the acoustics are different too. Sure. So we're rehearsing outdoors. We're, we're um, playing music differently when we're in an outdoor environment versus an indoor environment. Now, I must confess, one could argue it should not be different, <laughs> but it is different. Um, and so those are the, the huge things. There, there are things we can do musically at the spring concert that we don't have as much success doing in the fall, despite our best efforts. Like playing the 80s and some ABBA that's on the agenda for tomorrow. Absolutely. For Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, 
This is the last concert for the seniors. It's bittersweet for some of these it's musicians. It's very emotional for the seniors. It's very bittersweet for, for the seniors. This is going to be their last hurrah, so to speak. And we'll all be sad to see them go, but a lot of them are going to do some great things. And once a band member, you're always a band member. Absolutely. For Absolutely. life. Absolutely. <laughs> Tickets are now on sale for the upcoming concerts Friday and Saturday night, 730 at the Cole Center. Tickets are $25 for... For general admission, fifteen dollars for students. You can buy them online at Badgers.com or at the athletic ticket office. Doctor, thanks for being with us today. Good luck, Corey. Have Thank a you great so concert. much. We'll see Thank you there. You. Well, final check of your forecast coming up. suffer from chronic or severe back or neck pain? Did you know that there is now a treatment method available right here at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center that offers hope of avoiding spinal surgery for those suffering with bulging, herniated, or degenerative discs? Our therapies help reduce pain related to these conditions and have a high success rate in helping people just like you avoid back or neck surgery. I have experienced low back pain for over 15 years. I had back surgery when I was 26 and had difficulties recovering. The doctors at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center have given me a new lease on life. I am now able to enjoy an active, pain-free lifestyle. Call Midwest Spine and Nerve Center now to schedule a no-obligation consultation to see if our progressive pain-relieving therapies are right for you. For back pain, I've always been a take two and call in the morning guy. But my new doctor recommended Salon Pass. Without another pill upsetting my stomach, I get powerful, effective, and safe relief. Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to. First Horn Weather Alert Days in the forecast through tomorrow for severe weather and heavy rain. I'll be tracking the storms at 5. And a major breakthrough has been reached by the Black Caucus and the Dane County Sheriff's Office. How new jail plans could affect the county justice system. Lockdown drills have created so much trauma for students that we will likely carry with us for the rest of our lives. I'm always thinking to myself, am I next? Is it me this time? These drills are traumatizing because we have to do them. And alert days in the forecast for rounds of potentially strong to severe thunderstorms later tonight through tomorrow morning. We'll stay tuned for more news and weather on Channel 3. Get 11% off everything in Menards and start your project today. Expand your outdoor living space with our great in-stock selection of concrete landscape blocks. Save today on 16 by 16 patio blocks. Get two for $6 after rebate. Add style to your home's exterior with Novick Accent Siding Panels. Replicate the look of stacked stone masonry at a fraction of the cost. Save 11% on all Novick Siding Panels now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. There's nothing better than a great night's sleep on a new Beautyrest mattress from Steinhoffels. Beautyrest mattresses are assembled in Wisconsin, and right now, queens start at just $4.99. Or upgrade to the luxury and comfort of a Beautyrest Black and get $200 in Steinhoffels cash. Beautyrest Black Queen mattresses start at just $49 per month when you use Steinhoffels special 72-month financing. Shop in-store or online today at steinhoffels.com. This is how it feels to do more with less asthma, thanks to Dupixent. Dupixent is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma and can help improve lung function for better breathing. In as little as two weeks, Dupixent helps prevent asthma attacks and can even reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Imagine that. 
do picks and can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Who knows what you can do when you do more with less asthma? Ask your asthma specialist about Dupixent. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. In today's final touch, it was anything but your typical <laughs> traffic stop in South Carolina. Police pulled over a man in Pickens in the northwestern part of the state. The man asked the officers if they wanted to hear some of his musical instruments. So? <laughs> The man who's from North Carolina serenaded the officers. He started first playing the spoons, then he transitioned to strumming on a saw, and he ended the evening's entertainment by playing a guitar. The officers say they enjoyed the traffic stop concert, and police let the man go without giving him a ticket. That was music to the man's ears. <laughs> That's our time for now. Thanks for watching. News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.